Well, it takes around right about 30 minutes to load up all the kayak stuff. If I don't have my rigs tied together already, or the camera's cleaned, or the battery charged, radio's charged, then obviously it, it takes longer, but um, I count about an hour of getting ready for every trip. little papio seems to grow a lot bigger I know I've seen pictures of people catching these at like 10 15 pounds obviously this guy is like half pound but I'm glad he didn't break my damashi off I'm marking bait my damashi just got ripped off by a trigger fish Keep at least two of those baits to target Wahoo. up in about 190. Whatever it is, it's coming right in and not really feeling anything. There we go. Maybe it's just figuring out that it's hooked.
sure this is the yellowfin tuna. Two hundred now. It's a better fish. Might be twenty, twenty pounds. I don't know how far down it is. Pretty sure I had a ton of line out. Whoa. Nice chibi, probably. Probably right at 20 pounds. Sweet. Caught a probably, probably about 18, 20 pounds chibi. Woo! Yeah. That hook looks pretty buried in there. Yeah, hooked up 190. I'm out in 220 now. Rio hook. I feel like I should throw another bait out. Tuna. Man, they are freaking bullets. Good fish. Alright, in 220 right now. Gonna get this bait set up. And then I can focus on dealing with this. It's running really hard. So I don't know, maybe something grabbed it.
figure out how to put this fish in the bag without getting flipped. Maybe I can even slide it in there like this. Well, at least it's in the bag now, not on deck. I can clean all the guts and crap off of here. Um, he was hooked right inside the corner of the mouth. And actually the last sheepy that I had on, I was screwing around trying to take pictures of it and stuff. And it spit the hook right at the kayak. So I definitely wanted to get that one in. Uh, second bait out for probably five minutes now. I'm drifting up over the ledge and 190 now, but after this bait's done, then I'm gonna do some vertical jigging, save the other two to target Wahoo shallow. Um, but it'd be nice to hook up onto something else. But that's the plan for right now. It's 9.36, the bite time is at 10. It's super windy out here. It's probably 15 knots and there's pretty big waves. probably should have done is check to see if the hook was still sharp. It's not quite as sharp as it was. Uh, and the line is definitely frayed up above the hook, so uh, it was all the way in the mouth. Kind of a bummer, but I'm pretty sure that was a yellowfin tuna. Uh, just kind of bad luck. But uh, now it's time. We're going to go do some vertical jigging and then try that for probably 30 minutes or so and then we're going to start slowly heading in. The wind's picking up and it's getting pretty crappy. I vertical jig for a short, probably 10 minutes, but the current is ripping so hard, I'm just gonna start heading in. Uh, my friend, he's already most of the way in, but. Yeah, I need to get out of here.
Hooked up in 110. I don't know. This is what I want. Pretty sure it's an aha. Uh -huh. Barracuda. That's better than an aha. Uh -huh. Wow, dang. Pretty good sized barracuda. It was way out there. That's a mahi mahi. <laughs>
there, but I don't really have a choice. I thought for sure it was an, well, I thought it was an AHA at first, and then I saw it fly out of the air. I just could have swore it was a Barracuda. And then probably a few minutes into the fight, I saw um, what looked like silver and like blue. So I knew it was a Mahi Mahi. It didn't really jump, but man, it fought hard. And I hooked up right about, um, I want to say 110 feet of water. That's the shallowest I've ever caught a Mahi Mahi. But I still got that one bait left. And we're going to do the same thing again. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get another fish. What an awesome day. The conditions are total shit. That Mahi Mahi ate what, that wire set up. 44 pound wire. Swallowed both hooks all the way down. been about 15 minutes on the last bait. I'm in 103 right now, just kind of going up onto the ledge, fighting the waves. Something just stole the final bait, so I'm gonna head in. But it's just as crappy out here. Uh, I was in 60 feet when it hit, so probably wasn't anything too great. I probably had six or seven waves break over the kayak sideways, which is a really good way to be flipped, so it swamped the whole kayak. The kayak becomes less stable. Uh, I got hit by a, a weird wave and I almost flipped probably about three times today. I've almost come off the kayak. So not good conditions, but the, it, what it was supposed to be forecast was 14 to like 18 until 5 a.m. And then it was supposed to be about 8 to 12 uh, until past where it is now instead it stayed at, at 15 plus knots and then for a while there it was at 20 knots so really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and even dangerous for you know me and i have a pretty good idea of what i'm doing so you can never really trust the forecast and it's always a bad idea to launch on the windward side of the island because that's where Things can get really bad, really fast. This isn't the worst I've seen it out here. I've been caught out here in the same type conditions, just bigger waves. But a really great day overall. Um, that Mahi Mahi was actually pretty big. I don't know, I call it like 15 pounds or something. Maybe I'll actually weigh it. Uh, I've only ever caught one Mahi Mahi that was bigger than that, than that, that smaller Shibi. I'm pretty sure that was another yellowfin tuna that hit on my second bait, but I had a dull.
COVID situation, uh, wherever you're living in the world, are you still allowed to fish? Are you allowed to leave your house? Um, what's considered an essential business? I can count myself among a very small amount of pilots to, to still be flying right now. In fact, I'm flying more than I, than I normally do. Thank you.